Hello everyone, it's Ali and welcome to today's video. So I'm back with my junk journal January and today I'm doing days five and six. Five is daily log and six is memory. So let's do five uh, first. Let's put that out of the way. Okay, so daily log. I don't really keep a daily journal as such. Um, I do have a journal but I don't write in it daily so I was struggling a little bit with this one so what I decided to do was I'll show you I think I'm just going to do one page in this one I I've been onto Google and I've printed the definition it says a daily log is a personal document that records informal information that is not stored in any of the other defined documentation it is primarily a diary of events that's in its own owner can use so i've got this stamp here which is like a sort of piece of paper lined and i've got this uh, vintage passenger service timetable which i thought was like a log so i'm going to use that as my backing piece to go onto my page so let's just rip some of the edges off first yeah i wasn't sure with this one like i said because i don't daily journal so I'll just interpret, everybody interprets different anyway, don't they? You know, my interpretation is will be completely different to somebody else's. There's no right and there's no wrong. This is what prompts are all about. This is why I like working with prompts, because it's how you interpret them, really. Let's just get a bit more off the end of there. Yeah, that's okay. I've ripped a little bit too much off, but it should be okay. Okay, let's just make sure I'm gluing the right way. I'm just going to put a little bit of ink around. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do two single pages on these. If I can fit the memory all on one page. If not, it doesn't have to go in order the book. I prefer it to, to be honest, but if I can't fit all the memory on one page, I'll just turn over and do a double page okay so there we go so what i thought to do is stamp this this is a woodworth stamp and it's called does it tell me scrap notebook page frs931 just in case anybody's interested okay so i'm going to use my stamping platform just to make sure I get a half decent image. So I've got a piece of craft paper. I'm going to put that in. And then I'm going to put my, is it a right and a wrong way? Put that down there. Okay, pick up my stamp. And I'm going to ink my stamp up. I'm just using a black memento ink. I'm not sure how much ink's on this ink pad to be honest I've not used black ink in a long time it's just it doesn't have to be perfect oh that's fine that's absolutely fine as long as I've got some kind of an image so let's take my stamp off that there right i'm just going to pop this stamp back on again and then it doesn't get lost these are the stamp pockets that i was telling you about these ones here i think they're 11 pound for 100 on amazon they're really good they're not flimsy and that's what I store all my stamps in. Now then, I think this is going to be too big for this page. It is. So what I'll do is I'm going to use my... In fact, I'm going to use my decal edge scissors. I'm going to just cut it down a little bit. Yeah, that'll fit on there. Use my typewriter to type it out. I've been using my typewriter a lot lately. Let's just do... Uh, some black rounds here. Why are you not working now? Come on. I'll just 
Let's choose that pen. Oh, there we go. Just going to do a squiggly board around there. Like that. Okay. So it's right really clean and simple, this page. Gonna stick that on there. Uh, and then I want a label. Let's have a little ticket label. Where's my bin? I want something blank as well. Let's see if I can fit the word. Put that up there. Let me just get the word daily log. Let's see if we can fit that on there. Yeah, that might just go in the middle of that. Oh yeah, perfect. Just fits there. I want to stamp my dates. Uh, what date is it today? It's the 5th when I'm doing this. So let's just stamp that and make sure. Yeah, that's the right way. Uh, we'll do it. We'll do it there. 5th of January. And then I'm just going to put something here just as an embellishment. I'm just looking. I've got a fussy cut flower or something tall and thin that I can put there. Uh, these are some lovely flowers, but they're all big. I don't know when I'm ever going to get around to using these. What's that one? Um, where's my hang on? I know what I've got that's tall and thin. Here. That's the tape flowers, I think. So I've got some tall, thin ones in here. Have I? the bottom it's just yeah that's a tall thin one there is let's just put some of them in here and have a little look come on i only want a flower i don't want berries i want a flower that's nice but i think it'll be too big i should have just kept with that other one shouldn't i what's that one Um, oh yeah, what's this? That'll do, that little one there. Let's just move them out of the way. Spilt them all everywhere. I need to start using these things, I do. Definitely. Right, let's see if I can get the backing off this. This is the next thing. I'll just get my pokey tool. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a frog in my throat this morning. Yeah, I've done it. There we go, and maybe put something up there. Have we got another little flower? I'm sure I've just seen a little yellow flower. Yep. Right, there we go. So that is my interpretation of daily log on that page now the next one we've got is memory so i decided to use a picture of my girls let's just cut memory out see if we can fit it on the one page just trim that across and it's straight right let's have a look where's my pictures gone so oh, it's this one here it's just a memory of Christmas as you know I've got triplet girls this was the first Christmas and this was this year so I just thought they're memories that I'd like to document so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some paper down in the background um, I think I'll use dictionary page for my background I 
should have actually got the word Christmas, shouldn't I? Never mind. You won't see it anyway, to be honest, when I've finished with the page. Let's just trim that a little bit along the bottom. Right, let's put that on first. That's rubbish. Okay, right, let's put this dictionary page down. Right, what else shall we have? I've got some bits of paper here. Let's have a little bit of this. How are you doing guys? Are you all okay? I hope so. I'm okay at the moment. Um, I've finished my winter journal. There's not many videos left for you to watch. I've just filmed a flip through. So that's done. Yep. Uh, and then I think we'll have a bit of this black and white. Yeah, so the flip through will be coming up very soon. I think there's three more videos to watch, if I remember rightly. But they're not long videos. Well, one of them's about 50 minutes because I didn't want to start, you know, have to do another video. So I crammed it all into the one video. But you can watch it in two parts if you want to, can't you? Right, so that's enough of that. Let's just put them, I don't want that little piece of paper, put them over there. I'm just going to put my papers, my photographs, just onto this black. Just then they'll pop a little bit. Yeah, that was the first Christmas when they were completely oblivious to what Christmas was. <laughs> and then we've got this this year. Let's just put them there a minute. Uh, I want me the college trimmer without everything falling down. There we go, I've got it. Just put around it. I'm going to try and leave a little bit of the black. I don't even know if these will be too big to fit on the page, to be honest. Hopefully not. So I'm going to do this video and then I'm going to record my Marguerite Miller collage uh, video for this week. Right, let's have a look. Will you fit on? Oh, just about. If I put them like, let's. I'll have to just cut. Let's cut a bit off the bottom there because you won't see that if I tuck it under the photograph. Put that one there, right at the top, and then this one underneath. And then I've got this black piece of ephemera. I'm going to stick this on. I'm going to stamp my dates and um, I've got a little ticket there, but I don't think I need that. I think I'm just going to put the word and the date. So there's the word memory. Where's my stamp gone? Um, the date, the 5th of January. Have a look if there's any little flowers in here. Uh, what have we got in this one? I think they're all big ones. Well, there's one little one. Nice butterfly. 
and just something down the bottom there we've got another little flower come on i only want a little tiny flower oh yeah it is one i've got one these are something else I'm going to use this year. All my lovely die cuts that I keep buying and never using. Um, yeah, I'm going to get these used this year. I've got two shelves full of die cuts in these plastic boxes. And I've just been hoarding them, which is so, so silly when you buy them to use. So they're going to get used this year. Definitely. going to be making some no digital journals so they'll all come in handy for that and then let's just put some ink around this one that's it yeah we've managed to fit them on the one page just going to go around that me done guys for days five and six we've got daily log and memory so i've enjoyed doing them i hope you've enjoyed the video guys as always thank you so much for stopping by and taking some time out of your day i do appreciate it so until next time take care and i'll see you see you all soon bye for now